Welcome back to another episode of Ren's Wasteland Camp Review slash Dumpster Fires of the Commonwealth. Uh, it's a fine night here. You can hear the uh, energy weapons crackling off in the background as people are fighting to survive. So I've got a camp down here, which is TMCRT. I don't know why, but I want to call it Tom Creek Toxins. We'll go check it out real quick. It'll be the first stop. On our tour of dismemberment. No. Well, maybe. I don't know. It could be a trap camp. Uh, this is built in a location that I have seen a lot of camps built in. See... You get a farm built here, you got water that's right here, and over that way is where whenever the nuke comes in, it lands right over there in that little red patch, which is right in this area right here. It's not on my map because this character hasn't been there, but there's a lovely little spot there. Um nice nice so there you see their guns are on the ground so they can actually deal with things like these ghouls you come through here you've got a uh, looks like a garage with a few implements in it for you know general use you've got a conference table up here and the upstairs for the brotherhood of steel and a wooden shit shack sitting on a lake um whole lot of power because you know with all these water purifiers you're going to need it plus the fusion cell recharger or i guess fusion core recharger Your bedrooms up here there's a few plaques there's a display case with a few items in that and a office desk with a burnt out airplane chair in it because you know nothing says office furniture like a crashed aircraft um there's no real kitchen there's no real well i guess i guess that's their kitchen right there you know the little fire pit out front sitting on top of the uh wooden foundation and i don't understand why you would have this in here given the fact that you have how should i put it um nice all the power outside you would think that they would have just went ahead and ran a cable through and out to this and then back to the wall and into here but I get it I mean you know cable management's difficult I mean especially in like you know the the wasteland I mean look at this shit this is actually not bad cable management for what it is. It's a way to try and make the door automated and have it all work from everywhere. But like, this is just like, I don't know. It's like they they started building it and they took a break or they started building it and lost what they were doing. And then they decided to build a farm out here and just gather some water. I mean, even their roof doesn't look bad. It, for what it is it's like they started working on it it turned out kind of interesting and then they put that little cap on the end because they didn't know where to go with it after that and they got this overhang over here without any real structural support i mean it's not a bad building design it's one of those that i can honestly say i could do a lot with if i had it as a base to start from which makes me think of something. I'm, I've been thinking of a challenge for people, but I'm not sure how I want to handle it yet. So until I figure that out, and then, until I can get the damn tutorial video out, I don't want to offer you guys any of that kind of stuff. But, uh, so this one on a scale of 1 to 10, it doesn't have a bathroom, it doesn't have a prefab, so no two points. Um, I'm going to give it... Uh, base four because it basically does what it is which is you know function as a farm 
All right. Let's go ahead and uh, eat a little more so we can travel some more. We'll go from here to... Uh, let's go to uh, Bathari's camp up here. So this is uh, Watoga Station. I spend a lot of time at Watoga Station. What with doing nuke runs and in general knocking around the city trying to knock out general quests and things like that because I'll wind up spend that's how I used to build my bases to be honest I would pick a quest section that I was going to do and then I would stick a base there and I would go through and do all the quests in that region or in that area until they were done and then I'd move on to the next section that is how I originally built bases that is how a lot of players build bases to begin with because why waste your caps fast traveling and especially in the beginning games you really don't have the caps to fast travel all over the place and back then when I'm talking about this is whenever it costs you caps to go anywhere they didn't have a lot of empty free spaces that you could just travel to uh, I might have just tra fast traveled to a camp that's you know despawning which means that we may or may not actually show up there and I may be locked up in this for a while and if that's the case I will stop the recording and come back in because I have to go into a different world space uh, here we go Well, welcome back. Bethesda's uh, Crash to, de to Desktop uh, simulation is working wonderfully well again. Yeah, thrilled to be here. All right, let's go over here. We'll go to Naughty Grimesel's camp. Grimmels? I think that's, uh, I'm not 100% sure that's what it is, but I think he's up here. Let's make sure, yep. Naughty Grimmel's camp. It's, it's a good old Naughty Grimmel. I love Naughty Grimmel's. So they built up here, right by the snake, at the water hole, which sometimes spawns uh, Meyer Lurks. Uh, they have put out some farm plants, which you might as well do. This is one of the flattest areas in the game for building. Um, it is also one of the areas where you are least likely to get attacked, except for like insects and the random, you know, ghoul that shows up. Checking their inventory. Nothing incredibly high, nothing incredibly low. Everything priced pretty much bog standard so if you need anything by all means come take a look as I said before they basically build a farm I mean you're on a golf course they have a farm with a few water purifiers their followers Beckett he's up here in order to protect their cow which is just making poop for them they put him on their roof because you know that's that's where I'd put him at Nothing like having a cow living above your bed. I mean, just look at the moldering you got there on the ceiling. Um, they've got a few items in here for their workshop. A couple items poking through. So on a scale of 1 to 10 is how I judge every camp. This one here is only getting a... Uh, I'm giving it a three because it's kind of what it deserves. It's There's nothing exceptional about it. There's nothing clever about the design. There's nothing really 
there's nothing. I mean, it, it's just, it, it exists. Uh, I'm sorry, Naughty, but uh, you want so Naughty. Uh, Green Gardens AR's camp. Let's go here. This one will probably crash me out, too. This is one of my old camps. It was built on the side of a mountain. My friend Jack built a camp on top of the soda bottle over there. Um, which, if I can remember to, I will try and link in the video here at some point. So that you guys can take a look at it. So they built on a resource node, but didn't actually bother to use it. Ooh, spookum candy. It is so hard to hit these things with my, uh... There we go. Alright, so they have a few varieties of magazines if you need some of those some serums that aren't priced too badly um, they're just a little bit over retail price that most people charge but not much people usually vary between 300 to 350 for most of these things um, They have the witch's costume, which I will buy. And... Like I said, not too bad overall. Decent prices, nothing overpriced. I mean, the witch's costume, I've seen it go for anywhere from uh, 1,000 to 10,000 caps, depending on the time of year and who all selling it. I like this workroom. It actually looks cool, which is kind of hard to believe for a workroom. All he needs is a little bit of wallpaper up here on these two. I would say go with the stone or, yeah, to match it out. Or better yet, change them out to glass. That would probably be way better. But the stone would probably tie it all together a lot better. Yeah, that's actually really cool for a workroom. I mean, we've got a complete set of the uh, cards you get from doing the new events. It's actually decorated out pretty well. I mean, check that out. I don't know if I like their building choice. And that's because they've got so many different walls in such a small area, which I understand. You build what you can. I do like their bathroom, though. That is very nice. And it looks like this is going to be a greenhouse or an observatory. Um, guessing up here is probably where the bedroom is going to go. It looks like they're in the process of building it, and they're still laying it out. Um... And they still haven't quite got figured out what they're going to do. Building materials are trying to decide between the different ones, it looks like. Because all of these use the same build, base building material, which is wooden concrete. So, yeah, I get it. All right. I would go... Um, so, this camp, it's a work in progress, obviously. Um, I'm only going to give it a four... Based on what's here, I can't give it anything more than that. I mean, it's done well, what is here, but it's still a work in progress. I would probably remove this back row of foundations because this looks like it's floating a little bit or possibly move this down a bit, which is easy to pull off. Yeah, yeah, I'll give it a four to start off with. It looks like, like I said, looks like it's a work in progress. Good camp. This has been Ren for Ren's Wasteland Camp Review slash Dumpster Fires of the Commonwealth. And I will talk to you guys later. Have fun.